Hi guys, welcome to yet another new today's vlog. Without wasting much time, let's jump into today's morning session and see what's the challenge for us today. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back from my coding session. Uh, question was valid mountain array. So like, you know, you have to find whether the array has a pattern of peak. Like, like first it should be, uh, you know, the sequence should be that the array is in the decreasing order and then suddenly it starts decreasing and then it should be strictly decreasing. So a very easy question. You just need to do a, you know, linear search over the array and you will be able to solve the question. Uh, had a hard time because in these kind of questions, what happens, This these questions are not to tell uh, they are there to talk about your algorithmic skill but more than the algorithm they are more for the testing cases because there are a couple of test cases which you have to come to and i suffered a bad one over there because i didn't check all the test cases which could have been checked uh, so i got a wrong answer at once but yeah then i understood okay what is the problem see uh what i what strategy i used is that i used only one pointer technique you can use two pointers start from the left and start from right and uh, for all the left you keep on going till you get the point where your array doesn't start decreasing so you will keep on doing left is less than left plus one you will you will keep on incrementing on the right side you will do you know your right is greater than the right minus one you will keep on decreasing right minus minus and your left equal to equal to right and your left is not equal to zero and your right is not equal to n minus one that is the one solution quite a good solution um my solution is also on the similar lines but using one pointer so what i does is first i increase my pointer from zero to the point where the peak starts falling down and then i start my pointer to from there to check the condition whether the array is not increasing so first i check whether the my array is in the increasing order or not till the point where i get the falling falling point of the array once i find the falling point of the array then i check whether my array is decreasing or not and in the last i check whether my pointer has reached the end of array or not if it has reached then i am good to go if it hasn't reached, then it is a wrong answer. Like, but there are some other test cases you have to check, like you know your pointer should haven't moved only; it is sitting at zero or n minus one. Those are the things which I was missing. Yeah, I won't add a voiceover for this because the program is very simple. I guess anybody can do it uh, with the knowledge of programming. Who else? And yeah, uh, quite a good question. You know, tests your basic and uh, your understanding of the array. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much actually for today. Do like and subscribe. Do go through the walkthrough, and that's it for today. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.